Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, in my last three, four videos, actually, I can't believe it's been that many, but um, in my last four videos, I reviewed the new Skelector dolls, the new Haunt Couture line, and today we have some news possibly surrounding the upcoming Haunt Couture dolls. Um, if you didn't watch those videos, I mentioned briefly in them that Laguna and Cleo are set to be receiving dolls in this line, and we have some suspicious but possible leaks of both of them. So let's dive right in because you guys know I love talking about leaks and it's been a while. I wasn't able to make this video because I wanted to review my new dolls as quickly as possible so I had an excuse to unbox them. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's just dive right in. So our first leak pertains to the Cleo doll. This is a pair of metallic heels with snake soles and a pyramid from the look of it. It looks like a pyramid on top of the snake. I don't know. It also looks like Cleo's pet, Hisset. Um, if you guys don't know, Cleo has a pet snake named Hisset. And I definitely think that these have a chance at being real. They're very detailed and well-made, and you guys know Monster High has always been like, shoes are their thing. Like, if there's one thing Monster High was really good at, and hopefully still will be really good at, it is shoes. Um, I think they've shown that they're still pretty good at making shoes with the Skelector dolls, the uh, horror icon Skelector dolls, I mean. Like, you guys have seen Beetlejuice's shoes, right? Like, the way that they're both the faces of the dead couple in the movie, I don't remember their names. But, like, it's like they're creepy monster faces. So, like, clearly at Mattel sculpting, something is going right because they're still making banger shoes. And I could totally believe that these are real. Like, the fact that they're made entirely out of plastic is what does it for me. Like, these look real. Like, I was a little suspicious at first because the picture was just in such poor quality. But I think seeing them like this, there's definitely a higher chance of them being real. But there's also another picture of um, Cleo, which was provided to me by my friend um, Sydney Winters on Instagram. I hope I got that right. My brain is very <laughs> fried. But um, let me show you guys that picture of a blurry Cleo doll. So in this picture, this was found in a Mattel Creations, um, either Mattel Creations or Rebecca posted it. Um, you know, Rebecca, the designer, the current like designer for Monster High, um, posted a picture and this Cleo was spotted in the background. People were discussing what she might be, but it's believed now that this may be a potential leak of the um, Haunt Couture Cleo. The shoes look pretty similar. There's a couple glaring differences though, like the fact that these shoes don't seem to be metallic in the gold area. It looks more like a solid, like just gold colored piece and not metallic gold the way that these are. It looks like a different shoe mold, but it looks similar enough, you know? Um, the colors are also pretty interesting on her, going from the pinkish purples into the teal. I've always liked teal on Cleo. I do wish, though, that if this is going to be Cleo's um, Haunt Couture doll, if this is what her look is going to be reminiscent of, I would really like them to add more gold because I just don't feel like gold is prevalent enough here. We also got this um, picture of a Cleo denial face. Um, it doesn't look like any previously released Cleo dolls. And that's what's leading people to believe that, hey, this might be Cleo's Haunt Couture doll. This was once again shown in like a Mattel Creations or Rebecca post. I really don't remember where it was found. Um, I just know that my friend sent it to me and... But yeah, to make a long story short, these are the leaks that we're looking at so far. We don't know if this is official, we're not sure if this is official, and we're not sure if this is official. So they're questionable at best. Um, I guess we're just being hopeful here, because I think these shoes look fabulous. I don't think they look $75 fabulous, but they look really good. <laughs> like, if this is an indication that they're going to step the quality up on the next um, Haunt Couture dolls, then I'm all for it. Because Cleo does look promising so far. You know, I actually thought this was a Rainbow High doll at first, but it's definitely a Monster High doll. Not that it being a Rainbow High doll would make sense or anything, I'm just saying, like, damn, the head's kind of big. <laughs> Another potential leak we have are these earrings. They seem to be in the same shot as these shoes, but with a doll wearing them because there are feet in the shoes this time. So that leads me to believe that they can't be photoshopped at least because there's feet in them there. But um, the earrings, I think these have the potential to be real too. Um, 
I think the quality might just be a little crunchy because the part that goes in the ear like seems to be metallic but then the rest of the earring doesn't look to be I'm thinking the image quality is just crunchy um it's looking like Cleo's gonna have a lot of gold accessories though which I'm looking forward to maybe this is just a test shot where they used whatever fabric they had lying around I don't know but like Cleo looks like she's going to be promising. I am very excited to see what Cleo and Laguna are going to look like. And I'm kind of hoping that they'll add other characters, like maybe Gulia, maybe Abby. I would love to see Abby make a comeback in this form. It would be just perfect. I would also like to see other fan favorite characters, like Toralai, Caddy Noir, come back through this line. Like, obviously, this line is very expensive and. I, like the rest of you, do not want to spend $75 per doll. That is just crazy. But, um, yeah, if the quality is just going to keep going up, maybe if they drop the price to, like, $60 at all, then maybe then we'll be talking. Maybe then. Maybe then. Another suspicious leak that we have is this Laguna shoe. And the reason that this one is suspicious is because this shoe is a fan design by a, a pretty popular Monster High artist named Swangelical. And uh, let me just uh, put their art on the screen real quick. So I left their uh, username in here just in case you guys are interested in checking out their art. They're very talented. But um, if you compare the way the shoes look in this picture, in their fan art, this is a fan art. Like, they they don't work for Mattel. They confirm that on their stories. But, like, if this... The reason that I think these shoes are fake is the fact that the um, straps are not plastic. Like, that looks like it's made of some kind of wire or, like, string or a wire covered in string. Like, it doesn't look like a Monster High shoe. Monster High has never really done, like, actual laces attached to a shoe. So I'm thinking that someone just saw this fan art and decided to recreate the shoe. Like, they just wanted it. I don't think that this could be real. I mean, like, sue me if I'm wrong, but, like, I really hope I am because it would be really messed up of Mattel to steal a design from one of their own fans and turn it into something that's actually on the doll. Because, once again, this artist has said that they're not employed by Mattel, they weren't approached by Mattel in any way, so for them to just up and steal a fan art design would be really, really shitty of them. So that's why I'm trying to hope that these are not real. They don't look real to me. They look like something that someone just made. Like they got inspired and they made them. Like they look well made. But they just don't look well made enough to be like a real Monster High shoe, you know? Like, that's just what I think. But they look good. But like, once again, it's fan art. So <laughs> here's to hoping that these are fake because... Mattel, please don't start stealing from your fans. That's really messed up. In short, we have quite a few leaks, two pairs of shoes. Hopefully this one's fake, but hopefully these are real because these look amazing. Like, would I ever take the shoes off of Cleo if these were her real shoes? Hell no, I wouldn't. I would break all of those little individual pieces off. I would just totally destroy those shoes. I'm not very good at putting on doll shoes. I would totally break some of those things by accident. Um, this doll looks promising. This face looks promising. These earrings look promising. In short, I'm excited for what the future holds for this new Haunt Couture line. Speaking of stealing from fans, though, even the name Haunt Couture is stolen from a popular um, doll clothes making shop. They've had the name since around 2014, and it's obviously inspired by Hot Couture, and they had the name first, Haunt Couture. So, you know what? Maybe it's not that far out there for Mattel to steal from a fan. <laughs> oh, that feels so mean to say, but like, come on. If this is real, that's so messed up. But yeah, promising things coming this way, hopefully. There's not much else to talk about. There hasn't been any new news on the live action movie. Um, I still don't think we have a, even a release date for that yet. Um... There's no other news on the new dolls. There's still no release dates for Dracula and Frankie, so uh, sorry, guys. No, Dracula and Claudine. <laughs> Frankie already sold out. Some people's Frankie started shipping out today. Uh, feel free to comment if yours, if you ordered one and she shipped out today. It'd be cool to hear. But um, yeah, 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!